welcome. Welcome to another one in my series of explaining the way I fish for carp. This time we're going to be looking at a simple adjustable zig rig. Here we go. The principle is we have a, a weight heavy enough to take us out to our chosen spot on the lake also heavy enough that when it's on the lake bed it doesn't get dragged by any buoyant bait we have on this end and in my case as you might know I love to use tiger bread which is extremely buoyant so I use two and a half to three ounce leads we've covered the rig in an earlier video so I won't touch that let's just move down the line and look at the parts. What stops the what stops the weight from going right down to the hook upon casting out? It's a simple ledger stop. which is a plastic tube and a plastic stopper and when that stopper is pushed into the tube it becomes a tight fit How tight do we want it? We don't want to damage the line, but it has to withstand the casting pressure of a two and a half or three ounce lead as we cast out into the lake. So it's firmly pushed, the bung that is, into the tube. It's firmly pushed in. Notice the direction of the boom. It has to be put onto the line in such a way that any weight tightens it up rather than tries to separate it. It's backed up, in this case, with a buffer bead. This just cushions the weight and it also stops the large eye on the end of any lead from going against the ledger stop and possibly over it. So the buffer bead, an essential part of the whole system. How long do we set it? from the hook length. In this case it's around a foot. We don't want a long distance between the lead and the hook because it it will make casting that bit more difficult. And when we're targeting far margins, 
for special spots that we've decided where the cow play. A reasonably short hook length works best. How does it work? The lead enables us to cast out any bait into the lake. It's the water, sinks rapidly. It may take the bait and the hook length under, but if your bait is sufficiently buoyant all it needs is for you to feed out some line and your bait will come to the surface and then you can decide how far to wind it under I choose to fish on the surface or just subsurface most of the time. With a buoyant bait I would expect to just wind it down to the surface I think the carp are cruising at. It's for you to decide where the carp are, what layer they're at and that season of the year. So that's my very simple adjustable carp rig. It can be wound right down almost to the lake bed if your hook length short enough, mid water or right to the surface depending on how much line you feed out once you've cast into the lake. Hope you find it useful. Join me again soon. Thanks for watching.